Hi, my name is Frederick, and this is a video on how to use Blender for Maya users. Now, I used to be a Maya user, and or to get into Blender, I've set the interface settings as industry standard. That way you do get a little bit look and feel of Maya, but obviously if you watch tutorials on Blender, you get completely the wrong shortcut keys. But getting into Blender uh, this way is more easy uh, for me anyway. Now, that also brings a couple of problems. For example, uh, when we create a piece of geometry, uh, for example, this cylinder, like so, uh, and I'll turn on the wireframe on the object so it's better visible. So when you create a cylinder, you get a little menu down here, which is the creation menu. And uh, you can set a couple of things, but one of the things uh, that I've noticed immediately is that you get this really big end gun at the top and the bottom of the cylinder. But luckily we can just change that and change that into a triangle fan, which I think is more natural or easier to work with when using cylinders. Now, be careful because once you click away, that creation menu is gone and there's no way to recall it. In Maya, you used to have like a creation object where you could still set some settings. Uh, but in Blender, it's like completely gone. If you want to change it to an end gone again, you have to delete the cylinder and go um, again into the menu. Uh, and then you have to set it to end gone, obviously. So let's create another cylinder. And let's have, a look at, have another look at the creation menu. As you can see, um, there's a, a bit of a problem here if you want to have more cap divisions. There's no way in setting this in the creation menu, so you're kind of stuck with like no caps. So the first thing I thought to do was, well, let's go to edge mode. If you double click on those edges, you can select the whole circle. And uh, I would extrude, but then you get this little manipulator tool that doesn't exactly what I want. Basically, yeah, it does extrude, but that's not the way I want it. The, the reason why you, you do want to have caps, for example, uh, is when you want to put in extra edge loops. And if you have all quads, it's easy to put in those edge loops. But if you have... Uh, and let's go back to uh, selection mode. Um, yeah, if, 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 if you just want to use a loop cut, yeah, it's impossible to make actually make a circular loop cut here because it's all triangles, right? Um, you can make it here where the quads are, but you can't do it uh, where the triangles are. Now, um, yeah, how do you actually add those uh, cap divisions? Now, luckily for us, there's the offset edge loop cut. And uh, when you do that, there you go. You can actually get a loop cut that goes nicely around that uh, edge. And from then on, you can go back to selection. You can double click it and you can actually scale it down. There you go. And from there on, if you just want to loop, make loop cuts, that's easy peasy. There you go done now you have multiple cap divisions on your cylinder yeah it does create a double division there so if you want to get rid of it then uh, we go back to selection we double click we press delete there you go and you say dissolve edges don't just delete edges because if you delete them your whole uh, the faces that go with the edges disappear as well but you say dissolve edges and then down here you can actually choose to dissolve the vertices as well. And there you go, it's gone. And if you look at the vertice, uh, vertex view, uh, there are no vertices left, so that's good. And then you have a cylinder actually with, with cam divisions. So it's not as straightforward as in Maya, but it's, it can be done. And um, yeah, I prefer it this way. So thanks for watching. If you like to get more of these small Blender for Maya user tips, then make sure to subscribe because that helps a lot. And that gives me an indication that there is a need for those tips. And I'll try to make more videos on things that I discover while using Blender. 
so if you liked the video, uh, sure to give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.